Context, what's up? Context, I just came off of two really sad songs. The first one almost made me tear up. The second one made it where, man, I did have to tear up. I didn't like, I didn't fall off, you know, like cry. Not I'm like, a, I'm not like I'm afraid to cry. That's, that's not the issue at all. It's just like, once you get in that mindset, it's, it, it, it could take a while to get out of it. So I was like, I know I wanted to make more videos. So now we have this, which is not gonna be, well, I assume, the last song I didn't think was gonna be a cry song, so. If it's three in a row, you know, fuck me. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, PSN, Julia, kickback, wildcard, first place. I kind of wish I didn't see first place. I'm going to still talk my shit if I have it to talk. Uh, but congrats on having first place. Let's go. 355. 355. <laughs> That's great. Okay, there's no way. Is that really going to... It can't be a cry song. You can't come up from behind the equipment and it'd be a cry song. That's a baller move. Okay, all right. Fala aí, galera. My name is PSN. I'm from Brazil. I'm a radio KBB champion. 7-1, Brazil. Come on, bye. But nonetheless, this is my wild card for the KBB 21 Boss RC505 Loop Station Edition. Took a bass, distorted it, took a pitch, transposed it. My first thought is that sounds almost like a uh, really melodic heart monitor, like someone's in ICU. But that's because I'm listening to sad shit, man. Going from all that noise, you think it's gonna go to like, to me, I thought like, oh, we're gonna go to a complex version of this noise. And he's like, no, 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 we're getting rid of everything. It's like a walking heartbeat. It's like 100, 100 beats per minute, 105, something like that. He's doing something similar well, to what it, how it how it sounds it reminds me of the dice uh, loop station thing the, the code which is that like it's such a great orchestration that you're like this, this isn't beatbox we just know it's beatbox as we see them. This also, I think, now I'm stretching, but I think this explains his dope fucking flight case that he's using to go back and forth 20 gigs. Cause he's dropping shit like he's a DJ, which means he might actually be DJing in Brazil. Cause that, people will get down to that.
man, one hundred thousand percent respect because I really feel like he goes. This is what this is what I would like to make. I would like to make this type of shit, and I don't care if beatboxers are not really known for that. I'm gonna do it. You re he really sounds like a DJ mixing tracks together, but they're just his own, you know, his own vocal samples in the loop station, dialing dialing them up. That was always some Aphex Twin going on there. Nailed it! Absolutely nailed it! Um, I'm trying to think about what y'all might be thinking and saying or something. I think what you actually hear might not sound as complicated as what you would see in other videos. Well, he came in first place, so apparently someone agrees with what I'm about to say. Which is, I, I think the structure of each part and how he moves between them is absolutely just brilliant. Just absolutely killer. And it is what it is. To me, this is a club track or a music festival track where like everyone's just getting into it and there's just gonna be sections. The same thing you'd expect from like an EDM performer. And I think he nailed it out of the, just nailed it. I was going to say out of the park, but like, just, yeah. That's crazy. Also, let's be a little super clear on this. What makes it crazy is I have not seen a bunch of beatbox loop station people creating this exact type of sound. This is like straight, to me, this is like straight EDM. If everyone was copying this, and then we had like 15, you know, reactions to this type of music, then I'd be like, oh, that's what everybody does. But no, I mean, it's got a lot of similarities because when you're working with a, 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 the same instrument, when you have, when you're all beatboxers, you're gonna come up with certain repetitive ways of putting beats together, but this just sounds sounds oh, this is fucked up. It sounds brand, it sounds not brand new for a DJ. It sounds brand new for beatboxing. See, isn't that weird? If I was just watching a, like a video and I didn't know it was a beatboxer, I'd be like, ah, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just DDR. But knowing it's beatboxing, you're like, oh, that's fucking, that's crazy that he did that. Yeah. Words. Words, words, words. The best I can do.